You already know that the sun is pretty important. It is the center of the solar system, after all. You also know that our planet, Earth, revolves around the sun, making its orbit once every 365 days. And remember, Earth isn't taking that lap while it's standing straight up and down. Instead, it's tilted on its axis, the invisible line around which our planet spins. Put together, the Earth's tilt on its axis and the orbit it makes around the sun, and you get the yearly pattern we call seasons. Let's see how. Since the Earth is tilted, for part of the year, one of the hemispheres, which is half of the Earth, is leaning toward the Sun, and the other part of the year, it's leaning away. Let's follow the Northern Hemisphere once around the Sun to see how this works. In June, the Northern Hemisphere is tilted towards the Sun. This means that it's getting a lot of direct sunlight, light that's hitting it straight on. If you've ever sat directly underneath a bulb, you know that things can get pretty hot, and that's exactly what's happening to the Northern Hemisphere. It's summertime and the living is easy, temperatures are warm and days are long. In December, though, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun. It's getting indirect sunlight, meaning light is hitting it at an angle. Indirect sunlight means cooler temperatures, shorter days, and, for lots of folks, hot cocoa and bundling up since it's winter. But how can the angle of the sun's light make a difference between hot and cold? Well, try this little trick with a flashlight. Get a flashlight and dim the lights in your room a little bit. If you turn the flashlight on and point it straight down onto your desk, you'll see a small, bright, concentrated circle of light. That's kind of how sunlight hits the northern hemisphere during the summer. Bright and intense. Now move the flashlight down at an angle and point it at the top of your desk. See how the light isn't as bright and is less intense where it falls? That's like the sunlight we get in winter. But what about spring and autumn? During these two seasons, the Earth's orbit causes the northern hemisphere to be neither tilted towards toward the sun, nor away from it. So temperatures during the spring and fall are more moderate, not too hot and not too cold, since the entire globe is getting about the same amount of direct sunlight at once.